Clearly Tom Lynch. Oh no. Joe's the time. Oh, here we go. Right that on. One is, no, I got nothing to say. No. You got one minute to talk no, about it. I don't really want to talk about it. You do. You, I do. You, you've been wanting to talk about it for a fortnight. <laughs> I want to say this too. Adam Cooney comes in, he says to me, <laughs> I don't really know when I said about free agency. Don't get it at all. <laughs> to which I replied, yeah. weren't you once a free agent? I don't know, was I? <laughs> <laughs> not when I got traded, not yeah, when I left. You were a free agent in your career. I think I was, Because yeah. you didn't sign the five-year deal. Because why? Because I wanted to come out <laughs> as, a, as a free agent <laughs> and sign a banger deal and, <laughs> and, and heaps of cash. Well, ten years later, you've got uh, no idea what it is. Now's the look, awesome. yeah, look, I'm flat now. There's a million myths I'm about free agency. So much cash. The powerful clubs don't get richer. Essentially, free agency and equalisation is not, not connected. You know the, the AFL one, didn't bring in One premiership agency. player. From, there's been a free agent that's gone to another club. Who was it? Can't remember. James Frawley. Who James was it? Frawley. There he goes, James Frawley. Now, the thing is, right, the AFL didn't bring in free agency to equal up the competition. They bought it in to allow players to move after giving loyal service for eight as a restricted or ten as an unrestricted free agent. Or an unst- and, and to be honest, Come on, man. that's get a your, long time. Get to your point. I'll tell you what it is. Yep. Stupid that people are complaining. And you know what? Two years ago, Richmond lost by about 200 points to Sydney. We were calling them Shipmont, and we were making jokes about him finishing ninth. And now all of a sudden they're a powerhouse two years later. Powerhouses goes and swings and roundabouts. They are a powerful club right now. But in 25 years' time, there will be another powerful club. So don't sit here. 25 years' time? No, but this is a long-term thing. Gonna, these are going to dominate this for the next point. 25 years. <laughs> what a <laughs> dynasty. Free agency, free agency uh. is forever. Not just based on the first five, six or seven years in it. And everyone thought Richmond were crap two years ago. Right. And congratulate them if they get Tom Lynch. I think the um, Frawley pick was ended up three, which turned into Angus Brayshaw. There you go. So Melbourne, Melbourne, they somehow got yeah. picked three. And, and that, that essentially changed uh, the rules. I reckon Buddy might have been a late first rounder, which turned into, was it Blake Akers? Through uh, the McAvoy trade? Who, who, who'd they give up? Uh-huh. Who'd they give up? Shane Savage. <laughs> so I think it was Savage, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, they did. They gave Sh- him a Savage Shane and they Savage. got McAvoy back. Look, look. High-profile free agents, buddy, get to win a premiership. Team isn't in the top four this year. At, at Sydney, he's won one. Yeah, oh, sorry, get to win one at Sydney. He's won two, actually. Mm, two. And then, of course, two time. then you've got Patrick Dangerfield, who essentially wasn't picked up as a free agent because they did a deal, but his team only just made the eight, only just. Right, can I say one thing From the about, top four teams right now, no free agents. Can I throw up an idea about free agency? Instead of the compo picks, I'm happy for them to get a compo pick after... After every other team that has missed out on the finals has got their first pick, or instead of a compo pick, can you give them an extra? Say they lose Tom Lynch, can you give the Gold Coast Suns an extra five hundred grand in their salary cap to try and entice another player from another club? I've got an idea. You don't don't, don't dismiss being, my idea. Think of it stop, first. Why don't we stop being weak and giving our compensation picks? This is a professional sporting competition. I, I and if you can't allow your club, although Stephen May's going to leave as well, if the Gold Coast <laughs> lose both co-captains... They will go on. <laughs> they'll, they'll go on. Oh, the AFL will just keep tipping money into them. Give them an extra 500 in mm. the salary cap. I think it's been overblown. This whole they can give it to Lockie Weller. <laughs> he had a good year. Now, 